Hi, my name is Taylor Kalen, and welcome to the first episode of my podcast, Unwind. On Unwind, I'm going to be talking about all things self-care. Today, me and my guest, Rachel Toby, will be talking about dealing with test anxiety and managing stress throughout the school year. Well, you may be asking yourself, Taylor, what is test anxiety? Well, according to a study done by UCLA, test anxiety is a type of performance anxiety characterized by psychological distress and academic failure and insecurity about succeeding academically. 40 to 60% of teens are affected by test anxiety. Test anxiety affects the lives of many daily. Whether it's psyching yourself on a test, staying up all night studying because you don't feel prepared, or just dreading a test all day, it sucks. I'm definitely no stranger to test anxiety and stress. Just ask my parents. They could tell you all about my worry wart stories. They could tell you about my countless nights I've spent studying for the easiest tests ever, or just my general nerves prior to tests. Even though I've been a worry wart my entire life, I have found ways to combat it. My favorite way to combat stress is self-care. During lockdown, I was introduced to self-care because I was like, hmm, maybe I should put myself first, you know? My favorite form of self-care has to be skincare. I could go on about it for hours. I am such a geek when it turns when it comes to self-care. But self-care isn't just skincare. It could be going for a walk, taking a bath, reading a book, or just doing anything that you enjoy. As it's gotten later through the year, I've definitely had to learn how to manage my stress better because with all the clubs and just academics, it gets really hard. With me being drama club, I just had show week and I missed a lot of time and free time because of it. And I really had to learn how to manage everything. I mean, I'm still dealing with the stress from all I missed, but I would really say to help with managing stress through times like this, it's really important to learn time management because if you don't know how to manage your time, you won't be able to get things done on time or just strategically plan stuff. So, well, yes, it's important to take breaks. It's also important to just get stuff done and do it in a timely manner. Practicing self-care has helped me combat stress by reminding me Well, yes, grades are important, but it's not the biggest determining factor in my life. Anyways, enough of my ramble. Let's hear from my guests. So with me on my podcast today, I have Rachel Toby. Rachel is currently a senior at Corning Painted Post High School, and as a senior, I'm assuming she's been through quite a bit of stress through the years, so that's why she's on here today. So tell me a bit about yourself, Rachel. Okay, so as Taylor said, I'm Rachel, and I've known Taylor for about 10 years now, so I'm just so glad to be here. I'm really happy that she invited me. All right, so let's get into the interview. I'm going to start off with maybe not such an easy one, but what would you say has been the most stressful year of high school so far? Okay, so the most stressful year of high school for me was probably my junior year. I was an exchange student to Belgium, and so I hadn't really prepared that much before. Like, we got training of things that we should do in certain situations as an exchange student, but of course, like, that didn't, like, I didn't know what to expect going to a different country and making new friends and being in a completely different environment. So I'm assuming that was a pretty big lifestyle change, right? Oh, yeah, everything was completely different. Do you think those changes either helped or increased stress? I mean, they definitely increased my stress just because, like I said, I didn't really know my host families beforehand. I didn't know what to expect in, like, this new country. So I was a little stressed, like, a couple weeks before I found out that I was going to Belgium or, like, when my date to go to Belgium would be. Yeah, and when I was on the plane ride, like, all I could think about is what it would be like when I was living there, and, you know, like, there's just so much anticipation for what my year would look like, just because it's just really a life, like, everything in your life changes when you become an exchange student, and, like, everything familiar to you is left behind, and it was just such a great opportunity, but it definitely brought me a lot of stress. Also, with school, like... 
it was going to be a completely different school environment. I didn't know how I would be able to deal with like sitting in a classroom with a foreign language to me all day long. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of stress to it. Yeah. And I know a lot of people who are interested in foreign exchange. So do you have any tips for people who are looking into it? Yeah, so the best advice that I got as an exchange student was to go out as much as you could. Like, the exchange year is really what you make of it, and trying to meet new people, going to try new things, like not sitting in your bedroom on your phone all day, really helps you like learn more about the country, learn more about the culture, meet people, and it helps you get out of the house and have a great time. So I know you said that being on your phone well, it wasn't a problem. It definitely got in the way of opening up and seeing the world around you. Do you have any tips for anyone who wants to limit their screen time or just do a complete digital detox? Oh, definitely. So like a lot of other people, I was really addicted to my phone and I spent way too much time just watching Netflix or texting people. I think I would get maybe eight to 10 hours of screen time every single day, which is awful. But since then, what I've tried to do is um, set a screen time for all of my apps so that I only have a couple hours of screen time by the end of the day. Do you think cutting out such a large amount of screen time affected you? Oh yeah, I have so much more time to like socialize with people, um, do hobbies. I just have so much more time during the day now. Like I help cook, bake, I, it is one of the best things I decided to do. So I know even when you have so much more free time, life can still get stressful. Do you think having friends, family, or just overall social support can help combat it? Oh, definitely. That's one of my favorite things to do when I'm stressed and I don't have something like another task I have to complete. I like to just hang out with friends or hang out with family members. And it's one of my favorite things to do. Like I love inviting my friends over for even sleepovers during the week, just because I love waking up with a friend right there and getting up in the morning is just so much easier. We're so much more productive at night. Like we do our homework together and it's just a really fun time. So I know a lot of people definitely have that one thing that they do to just unwind. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so would you say you have a favorite way to help unwind or combat stress? So like I said, talking to friends has always been really helpful to me. But if my friends are busy or if I'm not really feeling like going out, I really like to take long showers, maybe light some candles, watch a movie, and yeah, just relax for the night. Yeah, I totally get that. What would you say would be an ideal relaxing day for you? Okay, so I think I would sleep in a little bit, maybe make some breakfast. I really like pancakes or waffles. And then after eating, I think I would go maybe on Market Street or meet up with friends, maybe get some lunch together or coffee. And I like to read books too when I'm at home. And like I said, that warm shower, watching movies, just a lot of things like that. Maybe even like color or something in a coloring book. So as a student who does honors, is involved with clubs, and has a pretty good social life, how do you say you balance everything, including free time? So I was really lucky because this year I have um, one study hall every single day and then another one every other day. So whenever I'm in those study halls, I try to work and get as much stuff done as soon as possible. And sometimes I also use like the bus or car rides to finish up extra work or like readings I have to do. So then when I'm at home, I can just completely relax and I don't have as much to worry about or even hang out, hang out with friends after school. So I know you're a senior and the big question, college. Has college application been scary or stressful for you? Right. Actually, they haven't at all, just because I haven't applied to any colleges yet. Oh. <laughs> because I'm planning to go back to college in Belgium, and their application process starts so much later, but soon I do have, like, a language proficiency exam that I have to take. So that's coming up in, like, the next month or two. So I got to start prepping for that. So you said you love to watch movies, right? I do. That's personally one of my favorite ways to, like, unwind, relax. Is there that certain movie or certain genre that really just you watch every single time? I'm not going to lie, especially with this time of the year, I love Christmas movies. 
so much. Like it could be any type of Christmas Christmas movie. Like it could be cheesy. It could be like those Hallmark Christmas movies. I used to watch those a lot as a kid. Um, my favorite Christmas movie though is Christmas Vacation, which I actually helps uh, class council pick out for senior movie night. So unfortunately, I can't even be there because of like a Tennessee trip with the school, but it's a shame. So I assume you're going to miss some school for this trip, right? Yeah, I'll be missing the 30th and the 1st. I'm assuming you're also probably going to miss a lot of work during that time. Oh yeah, I will be. Do you have a plan for making up the work in a timely manner? Yeah, so I was actually going to talk to my teachers beforehand about asking for extensions because I'm going to be so busy this weekend still being in Tennessee, I won't be able to turn in the assignments on time. So how would you say your time management skills are? Well... <laughs> It's definitely seen better days. I feel you. Do you think having poor time management skills has affected your stress and like just school overall? Oh, definitely. This year I've been such a big procrastinator. I mean, I was always kind of a procrastinator, but the senioritis is definitely hitting me. Do you have any tips for people who also are suffering from procrastination and senioritis? Honestly, just get it done. Like, it feels so much better to have it done and out of the way, and then you can relax in peace, and you don't have to stay up cramming it in the night before. So I know procrastination can definitely lead to stress. How has stress affected you? So I would definitely say that it's made my life a lot harder, you know, but I'm not going to lie. It also keeps me going through the day. You know, like I have a goal. I have something I need to get done with that deadline, and so I managed to do it really efficiently somehow in a short amount of time yeah no I get that like oh got geometry assignment do it three yeah I guess I gotta get it done <laughs> exactly so not to jump topics but I know a lot of people struggle with test anxiety do you think you do so not really because I always thought that like worrying too much about test grades can just lead to like burnout honestly. and honestly like whatever grade I get I get Okay, so I'm starting to get a little tired of answering all these questions. I think it's about time that we flip roles here. Okay, so for the first question, what has been your most stressful year of school so far? Honestly, I might say my freshman year has been pretty stressful so far. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Like the new environment, all these new people that you haven't met yet. Yeah, honestly... When people say you really get involved in the high school, they're not lying. I've definitely got involved in so much more. So what have you been doing this year? So I've got involved with clubs like Sister Cities, Student Council, and Drama Club being a big one. I was just in the show, so yeah. Oh, Mamma Mia, right? Yeah, Mamma Mia. Oh, yeah, I went to go see it. It was amazing. But like a lot of work must be put into that. How often do you guys practice? We practiced a lot for like months, maybe two months, I think, uh, at least five practices a week. How many hours did you get in every week practicing? So Mondays were five hours long. Tuesdays were six. Wednesdays and Thursdays were both two and Saturdays were also two. So I'd say that's about 17 hours a week. And as we got farther through the show, it would become even more. So how did you manage your time with a uh, drama club, between all of your other clubs, school, and socializing with your friends? So I would definitely say time management was a huge thing. Any free time I had, I'd be working on any extra work. And if I wasn't an extra work, I would just be relaxing because I need it. So you said you like to relax. What's your ideal relaxing day? So I'd say my ideal relaxing day would probably start off around 8 o'clock. I think that's like the best time to wake up. I make a nice smoothie. It's nice and warm outside. After drinking a smoothie, maybe go do some skincare. Like I said, I am a geek for skincare. It is bad. After that, maybe go for a walk, just relax, sit on my phone, talk with friends. And then near the end of the day, maybe light some candles, take a shower or bath, really just put time in for me, and then do my skincare again at night and put on a movie and go to bed. Okay, since you asked me what my favorite movie was, I'm gonna ask you the same exact thing. Honestly, I love 
comedy and romance. I think my favorite movie, it's not really either of those, but it's either Dead Boat Society or La La Land. I could talk about those movies for hours. They're my favorite. I love them so, so much. Yeah, I actually remember that being your favorite movie just because Taylor actually convinced me to watch La La Land. And I can say it's a pretty good movie. And Taylor definitely knows a lot about it. Oh, yeah. I could talk about it forever, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> we recommend you watch it, though. <laughs> yeah, it is a great movie. And Dead Poets Society. So, unfortunately, Rachel could not finish the interview because she had to leave early. But she did have a few more questions before I finished the podcast. One of them being, how has social support affected your stress levels? Personally, I would say it's very helpful when it comes to stress because my friends and family have always been there for me and they're really helpful when I just need to talk, need help with schoolwork, or just anything. I think getting with friends and family really can help manage stress levels. Lastly, Rachel had one more question before the podcast was over, and it was, what is my favorite way to relax? I personally have a lot of different ways I like to relax, but some of the main ones are doing my skincare, watching movies, and taking long showers or baths. I like doing these especially at night because I find it even more relaxing because I'm starting to get tired and it's just nice to light a candle and do things you enjoy. Another thing I find really relaxing is having a routine. That's one of the main reasons I like all these things, because I do them in a routinely manner. Routines have really helped me just stay not stressed because it maps out my day for me and I don't have to worry about not getting stuff done. I mean, routines can be stressful, but they make your day so much easier <laughs> if you have them. Anyways, I think it's about time for me to wrap up this episode. Well, thank you so much for joining me and interviewing me on my podcast today. Yeah, it was so much fun. I'm glad you invited me on here. Hopefully, maybe in the future, I'll be back. <laughs> maybe. Well, that was the first episode of my podcast. Today, me and Rachel Toby talked about dealing with stress, test anxiety, and time management skills. I will see you next time, and we will be talking about FOMO and dealing with toxic friendships. I'm Taylor Kalen. I'll see you next time on my podcast, Unwind.